What's up, dude? What's up, Jack? How you doing? Oh, I am tired. You Where got are you to. tired from? You like playing soccer or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta slow down on Just that. Just surviving another day. <laughs> day after day. Hey. Welcome to Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. I'm Jeff Lemieux, my road trip buddy today. Really excited to have Reds goalkeeper, Jacob Jackson. Jacob, what's going on, man? Oh, just hanging in there, you know, enjoying another day uh, in the office and enjoying every moment of it. Happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear that you're here on the awesome drive with me because it's been a busy month for you. You had a really whirlwind October. Mm -hmm. It started October 1st, you were playing in the MLS Next Pro Playoffs mm -hmm. with Revs 2, by the end of the month, October 28th, mm -hmm. you're playing in the MLS Cup Playoffs with mm -hmm. the first team. Have you even had an opportunity to sort of sit back and think about the past month and kind of appreciate making those first few first team appearances? Or has it been such a whirlwind that that stuff kind of has to wait until the off season? Yeah, it's been it's been really awesome. You know, I think, uh, I think it kind of caught me by surprise originally. Um, and I can't thank it enough, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to be a professional athlete and play first team minutes and You know now I'm playing them right now, and I enjoy every moment of it um, You know, I think recently I've been really thinking about it um, I played the last three games and they're the first real minutes uh, I've had and for them to be in playoffs games that are very important uh, It's just such valuable experience uh, and I hope con to continue to continue playing um, and keep striving to be my best every game um, and hopefully keep on learning um, from this grand experience of, of playing, you know. But you got a bright future and you were the Revs first round draft pick last year. Mm -hmm. And what Revs fans might not know, you are not the only person in your family who's a professional athlete drafted in the first round. Mm -hmm. Your brother Alex mm -hmm. drafted in the first round of the Major League Baseball draft. Mm -hmm. I think I spent time in with the Braves, Marlins, Brewer Systems, now and with the Rays. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering how competitive the two of you were growing up. I know you ended <laughs> up playing different sports, obviously, but how competitive were the two of you? Uh, it was. It's weird. We were never really competitive. Um, honestly, it was always me looking up to him. Uh, my brother's been a very big part of my life um, and still continues to be a big part of my life. Um, even when I first got the opportunity to play, he came and actually watched my debut game against Nashville. Um, and he was there always in my corner supporting me and he still does um, But yeah, there's always time he's he's my big brother. So of course everything he he beats me in. You know, I think that's just a big brother thing um, You know and he gave me kind of the pathway to follow um, Seeing him get drafted was a dream come true to see that from a family member make it um, in professional sports and then to follow suit um, It's overall been a great a great experience and I can't think him enough, my parents enough, and we're glad to just, you know, um, look out for each other and watch each other grow. You at least a better soccer player than him now? You know what's crazy? <laughs> I would even say no. My brother actually uh, played soccer until he was about 15. He went all over the world, went to Italy a few couple times, um, played there, um, and then played for a couple of the uh, higher teams before Academy came out. Okay. Um, but he had a stellar left foot. He could smack a ball. And every time I go in goal, he put two in the corner, two in the left corner, um, and make me look bad. And I guarantee you, probably still could. You that's know, that's the worst part. We might have to get him out to training and yeah. uh, have a little brother on brother. Oh yeah. And we get the the heels out there. We get you guys out there. Yeah. I just don't think he could run as much as them right now. <laughs> and just to wrap up, one thing Revs fans probably do know about you is mm -hmm. that you're a huge animal lover. Mm -hmm. You've actually been involved volunteering with Animal Rescue League Boston. Mm -hmm. You fostered a few dogs who've mm -hmm. ended up being in the office, mm -hmm. if you right now were adopting a younger dog, you were going to give him a new name, what are the names at the top of your list right now to name a dog? Oh, that's tough. You know, I think it really comes down to the dog specifically. Um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of pit bulls, um, Dobermans, Rhodesian Ridgebacks, more of the larger breed dogs um, due to a lot of stigmas behind them being aggressive dogs and knowing that, you know, they're probably some of the better dogs out there and the more loving and need the most um, care and recognition. Um, but probably in the top names, ooh, it's tough because in my head, a dog like a dog named like Shadow or something for a Doberman, okay. you know, something simple as like Rojo for a Rhodesian Ridgeback, kind of having like a reddish tannish color. Um, 
you know but I, I really think it's tough you know it's like one of those food questions you know you ask someone like what's your favorite food and you have so many different options to think of I think that's kind of like a dog name and most of the time I feel like the dog itself will provide its name my current dog that I have home um, Hunter is a hunting dog uh, of the Sinji um, kind of known for hunting in Africa um, that's kind of where the breed originates um, and he, his name just kind of wrote itself you know um, and I think that's just kind of what it's gonna come down to but I can't wait to settle down a little bit more and be able to get my own dog um, you know and find out his name like clearly something you've thought about though a yeah lot, lot 100% time. yeah <laughs> I do a lot of like deep thinking about I don't want to say dumb topics <laughs> like this but dumb topics like this you know that's what we're here for on awesome drive mm -hmm. we hit the dumb topics. <laughs> Jacob, thanks so much for uh, for taking the time and, and best of luck with the rest of uh, the class. No, thank you so much for having me. Uh, it's been a pleasure and thank you for everything you do, Jeff. Appreciate it. This has been Dan O'Brien's awesome drive to the match. Keeping it awesome. Sweet.